In this video I will show how to create a new database in Excel and the card template that connects to that database. Card Exchange has been designed to connect to existing databases. That means that inside Card Exchange you will not find an option to create a new database. It is however very easy to create a new database outside Card Exchange, for example using Excel. Please open Excel and type the field names you need in the first row of the worksheet. Take care that you always define an ID field that contains a unique value for each record. This field serves as primary key and Card Exchange needs it to locate records in the database. Now we add the field name, surname and job title. You can add as many fields as you want. Take care not to use any strange characters in your field names, but limit yourself to letters, numbers, spaces and underscores. Since Card Exchange interprets a worksheet as a table, it is convenient to give it a meaningful name, for example, employees. Let's also put some data in it. There we go. Now save and close the Excel sheet. We recommend saving the worksheet inside the Card Exchange data folder. By default, this folder is located in the My Documents directory. We will now open Card Exchange and add a new card template. To do so, we go to the Configuration tab and click on Add Card Definition. This brings us to a step-by-step -step wizard that guides us through the process of defining a new template. First, we need to give our template a name, for example, Employee Card. And optionally, we can specify also a category, for example, Card Exchange Samples. On the next page, we are asked whether we want to skip the step-by-step -step wizard. For inexperienced users, it is recommended to use the step-by-step -step wizard for the initial setup. I will show in another video how you can set up a new card template without using this wizard. Your card can be single or double-sided and have a portrait or landscape orientation. Let's create a double-sided sided landscape card. Obviously. We want to connect to a database, and since we are creating a new database connection, we click on Add New Database. This brings us to the Database Definition Wizard, in which we can set up the entire specification of our database connection. Now we click on Add to add a new database to the definition, and we give it a practical name, for example, Employee Database. For Office 2007 or newer, you need to select Excel 2007 with the correct file extension. Select Excel if you are still using Office 2003. Use the button with the three dots to select the Excel file you want to connect to. Since no login information is required for Excel, we can directly continue to the next page. Card Exchange is now connecting to the database. There are some cases in which you only use a database to write data to, but for this demo we certainly want to read data. We will use our employees table and remember that we created the ID field to be used as primary key. Note that the dollar sign after the table name indicates that we are connecting to an entire worksheet. It is also possible to connect to named regions, but that is not recommended. On the next page we can specify which fields contains the employee's name and identification numbers. You must specify a last name. All other fields are optional. If you want to hide a field in the name list, you can unselect the checkbox next to it. 
The next page determines whether users are allowed to edit the data in the database. By selecting Allow Editing Database Records, editing is made possible. Please note that deleting records is not supported for Excel, so I will unselect this option. When adding a new record, the primary key can either be generated by card exchange or typed manually. If you have no particular reason to type them manually, just leave the default setting. The pages that follow are only available in higher editions of card exchange and I will skip them in this demo. We are back now in the step by step wizard. You can see that the employee database has now been added to the list and is already selected. By clicking next we can start defining what items should be shown on the card. You can show any field from the database you like. It is also possible to combine the first and last name fields into a single item. If you want to add a photo, you need to specify which database field points to the photo file. Make sure that you choose a field that has a unique value for each card holder. Do not choose an empty field as Card Exchange would not know where to store the photos. You can set a background color or choose a background image using the browse button. Likewise, you can choose a logo to be shown on the card. If you need a barcode, please select this option and choose one of the available symbologies. You can enter the barcode data manually or choose a field in the database to fill the barcode. Now you have given all information Card Exchange needs to create a new card template. When you click Finish, it will open the Card Exchange Designer by default, so you can make changes to your design. Maybe you want the barcode to fill up the available space and have the name been shown in bold. When you are ready, you can save and close the designer and see the result in the main window. You can now take or import a photo, select a printer, and start printing. For any subsequent change, you can reopen the designer in the configuration tab. For more in-depth changes to the template, you will need to go to the advanced configuration, which will be explained in other videos. Thank you very much for your attention.